Okay, so here we have a 8 port powered USB hub 3.0. It's from Atolla and it's called Atolla Aluminum 8 port powered USB D3S. I will have links down below in the description text where you can buy these and also a link to Atolla's website. So let's start by unboxing this and after that I will do some testing of it with my new Mac Mini M1. So let's start by unboxing. Pretty ordinary box as you can see. This uh, USB hub has uh, on off on every port, that's really nice. And it has four USB 3.0 ports and three USB 2.0 ports and one charging port that you can charge your different devices like a phone for example. That's really really good. So let's open this box. Here we can see the hub itself but we will check that out later on. Here is some power adapter, hopefully for Europe. And yes, it's for Europe, so this I can use. So that was really, really good. Here you can see the AC adapter. That's nice. And here we also have a USB cable, a USB B cable or micro B cable connector in that end and a USB type A, USB 3.0 connector in this end. So this will be to connect this hub to a computer. I will use it with my Mac Mini, as I said. That's nice. And here we have some quick start guide. Nice. And we have some kind of member card, a sticker. That's nice. You can get two year warranty of this product. That's nice. So go check Atolla's website out. They have a lot of cool stuff. So let's check out the hub itself. Nice, really nice. Here you have uh, the on off switches, as you can see, eight of them. So you can turn every port off or on. That's nice. That means that you don't need to take out the cables every time. So you can have the cables left into these ports and then just click off that's nice and here we have the power connector and the usb plug to connect it to a computer that's nice and the back side of it it has some rubberized feet in both ends so it can be sturdy on a desktop for example i will use this on my desktop so that was what's in the box so now i will uh, plug this in and do some testing with different kinds of stuff to see if it works so hang tight okay so now i have plugged this beautiful usb hub into the wall and also into my mac mini and as you can see it has lightened up the different ports the four usb 3.0 ports and the three usb 2.0 ports and the charging port and as you can see i can turn these on off if i want and so on so let's start by plugging in my monitor lamp so we get some light here by doing this 
And as you can see, it worked. So that put works. But if I click on off, ah, like so, then this monitor light turns off. And if I click on it again, it turns on. So now we will try an external USB drive. This drive needs the fastest speed it can get. So I will plug this into a USB 3.0 port. And as you can see, I used USB 2.0 for the light because it doesn't need more power. So let's plug this external hard drive into a USB 3.0 port. Like so. And let's see if it shows up on my desktop. As you can see, it lights up, so it definitely works. And now it has mounted the drive on the desktop of my Mac. Brilliant. So this definitely works. So now I have that plugged in. Now it's time to test the charging port. The charging port is in red, as you can see here. So let's plug the cable in to the charging port, a USB 3.0, USB Type-A connector. And in this case, I will try it with my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And this phone uses a USB Type-C, so I need to have a USB Type-A cable into the charging port and a USB Type-C in this end. And as you can see, unfortunately, the phone is still on 100%, 99% now. So when I plug this in, it's not sure it will test the fast charging capabilities, but hopefully so. And as you can see, one minute until full, it doesn't say fast charging though but uh, my guess is that it's uh, just normal charging from this usb hub now it's fully charged again as you can see so the charging port definitely works as you can see i plug that cable into this so let's try something different from the charging port Let's try to charge this ebook reader, a Kobo Libra H2O ebook reader. With this, I need a USB, micro USB in this end. So, to plug this in, and a normal USB Type A in this end. So, I have that in the charging port now, and now I just put this into my ebook reader, like so. And as you can see at the top there, it starts charging. So it definitely works. This USB hub, eight port powered USB hub works great so far. So let's try it with my Apple AirPods Pro. Then I need a lightning cable. Here we have a lightning cable. So let's plug this in, that in into the charging port. And then I just plug this lightning connector into this. Like so. And it starts charging as you can see. No problem whatsoever. Really, really nice. So this definitely works. But uh, if I turn this off, like so. As you can see, we can turn this off, off. Uh, if you don't have anything plugged in, it's better to turn them, them off, as you can see here, because that saves power and have more power left for the stuff you have plugged in. So now when I plug this in, it won't start charging. As you can see, it doesn't start charging, but if I click on on again it starts charging as you can see Ooh. so it's definitely very useful to have on off buttons for every port as you can see now i only have my monitor lamp my external hard drive and this lightning cable plugged in 
So this hub is definitely great to have, very, very useful. So go check the links out down below in the description text because this is definitely worth buying. Okay, bye. Thank you.